Overseas now to the earthquake disaster in Turkey and Syria. Newly released video right here showing the moment the shaking all began and how some buildings crumbled within seconds of that 7.8 magnitude quake. The death toll in Turkey and Syria has now surpassed 41,000. Seismologist Dr. Lucy Jones says we all should be concerned about what happened over there because we are overdue for a major quake right here. Cake House Lori Perez spoke with Dr. Jones about some lessons we all may want to learn. She's live in Pasadena for us tonight. And Lori, we're talking about our regulations here that need to be updated. Well, that's definitely what Dr. Jones thinks. She says if you are living in a new building that you think will survive an earthquake, think again. Well, I want people to understand that even here in California, we are not building buildings that you can use after the earthquake. If you're looking at the videos of thousands of collapsed buildings across Turkey and Syria and thinking that won't happen here, Dr. Lucy Jones says you're wrong. One estimate is that 1% of even LA's newest buildings will collapse in a big San Andreas quake. In addition to the 1% collapsed, there would be another 10% that will be so badly damaged they will have to be torn down, and another 40% damaged enough that we won't be able to use them after the earthquake. In other words, more than half of buildings would be unusable if not destroyed. She says that's partly because the state's current building code is intended solely to keep a building from killing someone while keeping construction costs as low as possible. But if the building's a total financial loss and you have to tear it down afterwards, well, that was your choice to make. Like all of the new condos in downtown Los Angeles, there is nothing in the code that says we should be protecting the investment of those people who've purchased those condominiums. It's solely make sure you can crawl out alive. And even then, make mostly sure that you're going to crawl out alive. We, we can't be perfect. For years, she's been urging lawmakers to adopt building codes that mandate developing buildings that can be repaired, that aim for more than human survival toward a community's recovery. What will that cost? She says only about 1% more. There was, in fact, just a building built in San Francisco of affordable housing where the owners chose to, to go for the uh, functional recovery standard, get a building that we can use after the earthquake, and it added 0.25% to the cost of the, the building. 0.25% more to have a better chance at saving a building and the people that live there. And Dr. Jones says there have been a few efforts of the past five years to uh, create, to propose that higher standard, that higher building code that have gone to the state legislature, but they have eventually failed there. In Pasadena, I'm Lori Perez, KCAL News, back to you.